My name is Heather McDonald and I graduated from the 2001 BioPharm class. I decided I wanted to be a pharmacist when I was in first year. So I went to the, you know, like the, the student development center and saw that we had a program that I thought was pharmacy. So I started going down that road and then spoke to a number of people in pharmacy and actually got the sense that that really wasn't the road I wanted to go down, but that pharmacology was something that was very, very interesting. So I decided I didn't want to count pills, I wanted to design drugs. Um, so I applied to the biopharm program. Um, so a couple of reasons, one because of the pharmacology and that's a relatively rare degree um, and the co-op was really appealing to me as was the the concept of having the, the small classes. Best things about the program for me was the faculty. So you know you come from first or second year where you have very large classrooms, a number of different teachers and you don't really have the opportunity to develop a rapport, uh, you know to really get uh, more, more intensive interaction with the teachers and to really to really learn the way you would want to um, and I found from third year onwards that that you know that all changed for me and you, you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with you know with Dennis and Eva and uh, Dr. Rangachari who was there when I was a student and to me that was just a huge benefit. Um, the other thing was this the size of the class so so because it's a pretty small group um, you get to develop really close relationships mm -hmm. with your classmates and uh, I just found that very beneficial as well. The most memorable experience for me was the opportunity to, to relocate to Stockholm um, and live there for a year, um, work in industry, uh, you know, learn a different language, learn a different culture, and all of those sort of things were wrapped up into one for me. Uh, it was a huge development opportunity personally and academically and professionally, so that has stayed with me you know, for the past mm -hmm. 10 years. I do think it prepares you well for the work world or the academic world if you decide to go on and pursue um, advanced degrees because it really does force you to, to teach yourself. So you have to be very resourceful. You have to understand where to find information. You have to learn what questions should be asked, what are the right questions, how to ask them, mm -hmm. um, and basically pull that all together for your own knowledge. And I find um, in my advanced degrees that's very much the type of process you have to go through um, just you know, for your own benefit. And certainly in the working world, the expectation is that you will get up to speed on you know, the areas that you're expected to be responsible for. So it does prepare you for being a grown-up. I do believe the program uh, helps you become a very strong scientist. And whether you're talking about preclinical lab-based science or whether you're talking about clinical research, um, you know, they really do develop you to be very, very strong on the analytic side in terms of research, methodology, etc. So I think that in and of itself is highly valuable no matter where you go. The problem-based learning, I think that that definitely prepares you pretty much for, for any job you're going to do because no one's going to train you <laughs> on the job, so you have to learn yourself. <laughs> My co-op placements were all with uh, AstraZeneca. My first term was in Mississauga and it was more um, clinical slash medically oriented. I did four months in that. And then when I relocated to Sweden, it was a lab-based role. Oh. So I was working in the pain control area. Um, full year of research and, and used that all towards my thesis. It was great because there was the exposure to you know, working in pharma, both on the clinical oh, side, but also if you were interested in going down a, a, a lab research yeah. route. It gave, gave you a sense of how lab research works mm -hmm. in a commercial setting. So it was a fantastic experience. Yeah. The co-op, I think, was indispensable. So the co-op jobs helped me get my next co-op jobs, which helped me get a first job right out of school, etc. So I think that prepares you well. You know, I think the co-op also gives you exposure to the types of jobs that are out there. So I never would have guessed when I started Biofarm what type of job I could have or what types of options were out there and it really helps you kind of weed through that while you're still a student instead of mm -hmm. spending a couple of years kind of doing that once you finish. So I graduated in 2001 and that summer I started uh, my master's at McMaster doing, um, I did my master's in the health research methodology program. And this time my focus is more 
um, health economics and epidemiology focused. I finished that in 2003 and then I started working for um, a consulting company. Um, I worked there for a year. I worked for another consulting company doing clinical research uh, for a couple of years downtown after that. Then I came to Bayer. I've been here for almost five years and about five years ago I also started my PhD part-time at Mac. My job now is as a senior manager of market access for Bayer um, and that role is pretty heavily based in health economics. So I started at Bayer as um, a health economist and moved into um, a role where I lead one of the teams at Bayer. Um, we are responsible for about half of the company's portfolio and our job is to convince provincial payers and federal payers, so all of the public organizations that reimburse pharmaceutical medications to pay for our drugs. Okay. Well, the piece of advice that I would give is to apply for the program and to absolutely pursue it. For me, it was a fantastic um, starting point. I can't think of a better undergraduate program to have done and now in my job, you know, when we interview different people looking for positions and you look at the resumes and you look at the experience, um, I think BioPharm just gives you such a good combination of academic rigor and also, you know, training in, in how to function in a professional setting, whether it's a lab or, or, or industry or uh, whatever. So I really don't think, I don't think you can get a better program.